today I'm going to be reacting to the Hungarian Rhapsody number two by Franz Lies. Now let's get to it. <laughs> That was the Hungarian Rhapsody number no. 2 by Franz Liszt. Now, what can I say about the piece? Well, this is originally a piano composition, but in this video, the guy, um, Anatoly Izotov, played it in guitar, and I think it was great considering it wasn't played in its original, it wasn't in original instrument, and it was still great, so. I mean, the fact that you were able to play a piano composition. Okay, so um, what are my expectations? And what can I say about the piece? Well, like I said earlier, I think it was great that he was able to replace the piano composition with guitar and still sound great. And what are my expectations? Well... It was a nine minute video. I saw it. It was a nine minute video. Of course I saw it. And I didn't expect it to be fun because it was nine minutes long and it was, I thought it would be boring because compared to the mainstream music we listen to nowadays, us teenagers or kids, um, it's way different compared to that time. And I don't think they're going to be accustomed to watching it, but I think they should watch it because it really shows the emotion of the of the of the one who's playing the instruments which is rarely seen nowadays in the mainstream music you hear those you hear the new rap music no emotion no not really they're not really expressing anything unlike the music that i listen to now which expressed a lot which is one thing that stood out for me um, the guy um, in one of the characteristics of romanticism is um, emotion and expressing yourself and I could really see it when he played. He expressed himself, there was emotion when he was playing the guitar and the f it, was, it was good and it was beautiful. Now would I um, watch other performances by that composer or artist? Yeah, I think I would. I mean, he put up a great performance in that video and one thing is that he really did portray one of the main characteristics of the Romanticism period, music, which was expression and emotion. That's one of the main things in that music period and he showed it in his performance and I could tell that the people loved it at the end of the show. So. I think he's a great performer and I think he's a, I mean he seems like a cool guy so, I mean yeah I think I would watch other great, other performances by him. Uh, what country or culture is represented by this piece? Well, basically from the title alone, I think this is represented by the country Hungary, which is Latin for Hungary. I think it's Hungary or I might pronounce it wrong. and. Um, I also, um, actually, um, Franz Liszt was, his compositions and piece were influenced by the folk music of Hungary during his time, so, yeah, I think it's, um, 
represented by Hungary. What characteristics of Romanticism did I find the most appealing in this piece? Well, like I said a while ago, it was the fact that the 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 guy who was playing Anatoly Izutov, who was playing the guitar, showed one of the main characteristics in Romanticism music, which was the expression and emotion. The way he expressed himself and the emotion he had when he was playing, it was good and that was the most appealing to me and the one that stood out to me the most in the piece. Guys, that's my first vlog. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.